The final type of purification technique that we're going to focus on is the two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. And this is actually something that we spoke about already. It's simply a combination of two different types of protein purification techniques. So in two-dimensional gel electrophoresis, we take our mixture of proteins and we first expose it to isoelectrofocusing. We separate the proteins based on their isoelectric point. So the pH value at which that particular protein basically has a net charge of zero. And after that, we expose that solution, that mixture of proteins, to the process of SDS polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, also known as SDS page. So P is the first letter, then we have the A, then we have the G, then we have the E, so SDA, uh, SDS page. So isoelectric focusing can be combined with SDS polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis or SDS page to create a more effective and a more efficient way of purifying our crude mixture of proteins. And to see exactly what we mean, let's take a look at the following two steps. Now, we're not going to focus too much on each one of these steps because we spoke about these in detail in previous lectures. We're simply going to show you the fact that we combine, we can combine these two techniques to basically create a more effective method. So in the first step, we take our crude mixture of proteins found in the following beaker and we expose it to isoelectric focusing. So remember, in isoelectric focusing, we essentially have this gel and that gel contains a pH gradient. So on one side, we have a low pH acidic and that's when we have many of these positively charged H ions. And so we have a positive charge on this end. On the other side, we have a low concentration of H plus ions. We have a high pH, a basic environment. We have a negative charge. And so when we take this mixture of proteins and dump them onto the gel, they will begin to separate on the basis of their net charge. And so they will, they will essentially continue moving as a result of that electric field, and they will stop moving when their net charge is zero and that is what we call the isoelectric point. So a mixture of proteins is first exposed to isoelectric focusing. This separates the proteins based on their isoelectric point, so the pH value at which the net charge on the protein is zero. So if two or more proteins, however, have the same pI value, they will be found on the same exact band in this diagram. So we have one, two, three, four, five of these different bands. And what each of these bands basically means, we have either a single or many proteins within each one of these bands. For example, <coughs> let's suppose we're looking at this band here. What this band basically means, a single protein or many proteins exist along the following region and all these proteins basically have the same exact isoelectric point, the same exact pi value. And the same thing is true for these other bands as shown. Now if we take this horizontal slab and we place it into our SDS page setup, we can now separate our proteins based on size. So this is one direction, the horizontal direction of separation, and this is our vertical direction of separation. And that's why this is called a two-dimensional gel electrophoresis process because we separate along the x-axis then along the y-axis and those are two different dimensions. So once we take this and place it into our electrophoresis setup, we see that what begins to happen is they begin to migrate down towards, towards the positively charged end, uh, end of this SDS page setup. And so if any one of these bands consists of different proteins that have different mass values that are different sizes, we're going to be able to separate them along the vertical direction based on their size. So in this case, we separate them based on their isoelectric point, but in this case, we separate them based on their mass, based on their size. So we see that this slab, this band, consists of at least four different proteins because these 
four different proteins contain different size values, different masses. Likewise, the second band consists of at least two proteins. The third band consists of at least one, two, three proteins. The fourth band consists of at least three proteins. And the fifth band consists of at least five different proteins. Now, it's not to say that we don't have more proteins here. For example, the reason I say we have at least five proteins in this section is because two proteins that have the same exact isoelectric point can also have the same exact mass. And so each one of these sections, each one of these individual bands can consist of two or more proteins, but it also can consist of only a single protein. To basically determine if we have more proteins in each one of these sections, we have to carry out some other type of purification process that separates the proteins based on some other type of property. So in the second method, the horizontal gel lane that contains the protein, so this entire gel lane is, is placed onto the SDS page apparatus. So SDS, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis apparatus. The proteins now begin to move as a result of that electric field in the perpendicular direction with respect to the direction in this case. So here we had uh, along the x-axis and here we have movement along the y-axis. So the x-axis is perpendicular to the y-axis. So they begin to move downward. This will separate the proteins that have identical PI values based on their different masses, different sizes. So we conclude that the two-dimensional gel electrophoresis process is a highly effective method that separates the mixtures of pro the mixture proteins based on two different properties. So their isoelectric point and their size. So the horizontal direction is the isoelectric point. It separates the proteins based on the pH at which they have a net charge of zero. And the second vertical dimension basically separates them based on size. So this is the process of two-dimensional gel electrophoresis. It combines isoelectric focusing and SDS polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, or simply SDS page.